hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm chikel and if you're new here you're highly highly welcome if you're a returning subscriber i just want to give you a big hug right now thank you so much for stopping by you know i do love it when you stop by to watch my videos again and i do believe that you're subscribed if you're not subscribed please click on the subscribe button i say again please click on the subscribe button okay so you get to be part of our family yeah we're building a family base we built already yeah but we need more members you know what i mean so um right about now we're just gonna go straight into this video if you can recall i uh recently had my birthday even though i didn't have any celebration or something but then i released a vlog most of you were wishing me well thank you so much and then uh, most of you were asking me how old am i now uh how what's my age and all of that well thank god you already know how old i am now according to the topic or the title but then i'm going to be talking about the 23 things that i've learned in my 23 years of life yeah whatever i learned have i just been just living every day i wake up and then nothing I'm just going to be talking about um, the 23 things that I've learned and we're just going to do this together, alright? You're just going to know what I've learned and I believe that uh, most of you too have learned such and most of you are just going to be learning that but then we're just going to go straight into this video. So one of the things I've learned in life is while growing up is that um, money does not grow on trees. Yeah, it's it's like cliche but then it's so true money does not grow on tree on trees while growing up um my parents will always give me money i'll go to school ask for money for school yeah uh, money to buy snacks or something like that but during my t i was always thinking that there was this storehouse that they stacked money and then they would always go there to take money and give to me and my siblings but then growing up and entering into my teenage years got to find out that it's a big lie like they have to work for the money and that's what i've also learned that i have to work for my money i have to work for my money so i can value my money so i'll you know cut on spending and all of that you know going to uni trying to buy uh, lecture um, handouts and all of that i got to understand that man you have to work for your money <laughs> and this is me talking to myself right now yeah so i got to learn that money does not grow on trees i have to work for my money i have to work for whatever i earn yeah thing i learned in my time, three years of life is that god gave me teeth to smile <laughs> yeah if you follow me very well or if you're always on this channel for my returning subscribers and like i said before please subscribe if you're new okay you know i smile a lot and this is just me on a regular day like just me every other day i love smiling if you watch my assumption video you will remember i said something about somebody um telling me that um she doesn't just know when I'm down, like when I'm in a sad mood because I'm always smiling and all of that. And this is so true. It's not like I don't um, frown or I don't feel bad. Come on, why would I wish I should frown? Yeah, it's my right. But then, I, I like if you wait, I smile more than I frown. Despite I'm going through things like difficult times. But then I just... I don't know i just have to i have no choice than to smile because it's my nature <laughs> yeah i have the teeth so i must smile <laughs> so that's one of the things i've learned another thing i've learned is that procrastination is not for me procrastination is evil and i would say it's evil there, i don't think there's any good side to procrastination because it just makes you not accomplish things that you set out to do so procrastination is so bad i just learned in life that procrastination is not good at all no matter how you look at it imagine you setting tax to complete and then you keep saying i'll do it this day i'll do it this other day and all of that it's just so bad this is one thing i've learned that i should throw procrastination out the window throw it somewhere but probably in the gutter or something because it's not good at all and i think if you're still procrastinating you should try to it's a habit and i think it's something that everybody should take to heart to stop it's it's not easy but then we're growing okay so yeah procrastination is not good for me that's one thing also that i've learned another thing i learned is that hard work pays this is cliche but then it's so true like it sounds cliche but it's true hard work really pays i mean i have to work hard if you want to enjoy life you have to work hard right so <laughs> except you just want to uh stay and i don't know i don't know how to say it but then hard work pays it really pays to work hard growing up in primary school do assignments uh, do homeworks tests and all of that i mean my parents taught me to work hard right from when i was late so it's something good it's something to inculcate if you're not working hard laziness is something very bad i don't think anybody would 
just want to be lazy but there are some days when like you know those days that it's called the lazy days when you just wake up and you don't want to stand up or you just you, know, you don't you just don't want to get out of bed but then you know you have work to go to you have this place to go to you have that to catch up on but then every day i try to work hard that's something i learned right from i think when i was in my mother's womb <laughs> yeah but then it pays to work hard number we're on right now but one other thing i've learned is that everyone will not support me not everyone will support you the truth is it's just the truth like everyone will not support me some persons that may support me or that may support you but then not everyone there's a person that what you're doing is not their niche or it's not what they want to do or it's not what they like so i can't beg you to support me no i don't think i can beg anybody to support you can you I think anybody that wants to support you would just support you because they love what you're doing and probably they have interest for it or even if they don't have interest for it just like they see the hard work you're doing and all of that so that's one thing I've learned that not everybody will support me I don't have to beat myself because this person is not supporting me I don't have to kill myself because that person is not supporting me so that's one thing I've also learned that not everybody will support me and that's the truth I think we're at number six now um the number six thing not really number six thing but then the other thing i've learned um in life in my 23 years of life is that i shouldn't only depend on what i studied in school to make money from it if that makes sense or should i repeat myself okay like i shouldn't just put my focus in all my focus like money making focus in what i studied in school I, sh I, I should open my mind to other things because i can make money from other things yeah i mean i studied computer science in school so i'm not supposed to put my mind on that my parents told me this and it's true we were even told in school too our lecturers also told us too funny enough you can't just put your mind in what you studied in school what you read in school you can earn money from that but then I also know that I can also earn money from other things. My talents can bring me money. My hobbies can bring me money too. So I should just, I just, I've learned to just open my mind to other things because I know that they will definitely bring money for me. Yeah. The thing I've learned in life is to pen down my goals. This goes in twine with um, procrastination because imagine you're penning down your goals and then you're busy procrastinating. You don't get to achieve anything <laughs> no so i've learned to pen down my goals i don't just say oh i'll do this oh i'll be that oh i'll ah. i always like to pen it down because i think they say the fantastic ink is better than the sharpest brain or how is it said something like that joke i've just learned to pen it down because i'll i'll i mean to help me remember that i said i was going to achieve this or i said i was going to start up this business and all of that I've just, I mean, b well, I was always guilty of just having it upstairs, yeah, just keeping it upstairs alone. But then entering into my uh, mm, 16, 17s, I got to know that I should always pen it down. I wasn't really good at it then, but I think I'm better, I'm better at it now because I always like to pen down my goals. So it helped me to remember that, okay, I set down this goal to achieve it in so, so, so time and this is the way I'm going to achieve it. So. I just think you should imbibe that culture so if it's a culture <laughs> yeah i learned it of recent though though i've always been hearing about it but i got to start applying it of recent and it's having quiet time with myself not with anybody but then with myself most persons have quiet time because of spiritual stuff like to grow spiritually most persons um, academically different stuff so i just i've learned to have quiet time with myself like to review myself just like when you come back i do it when i come back i try to review my day what did i do during the day what did i do wrong what did i do right how do i make this thing better and all of that i just do that before i go to bed so i've learned to um talk to myself like have quiet time with myself and be like okay <laughs> not exactly like that though but i just lock myself in and then just talk to myself i try to communicate with myself just to know me better like to know how i can better myself i don't know if that makes sense yeah so that's one of the things i've learned too in life thing i've learned is that um <laughs> wait for it prayer is not about breaking your head it's all about communication we we do this a lot in africa or should i say nigeria where you i'm not saying it's wrong it's, it's very good there are times when you have to just oh break your head and all of that 
But then I feel that prayer should be like a communication with God. I mean, we should, God wants to communicate with us. I mean, that's why he created us for communication. So I just feel like, I just, I've learned that prayer is more of communication than breaking your head. And <laughs> so that's one thing I've learned. I'm not going to talk um, so much on this because some persons have their beliefs and all of that. But for me, what I learned, like I said, is that prayer to my god is more of communication like let's talk father you know that kind of thing and it works for me i don't know i think it can also work for any other person too but then there's sometimes when that breaking of head is really necessary not really breaking head literally but you just have to <laughs> so another thing i've learned is that i shouldn't judge people by appearance i'm gonna do a video on uh well i won't spew now but i'm gonna do a video relating to this soon like african parents things well while growing up our parents were always like don't go meet that person no don't associate with that person it's good yeah they have their reasons it's good for us to apply it but then i just feel like it made it made me box myself up in one way like i when i see this person with a tattoo i'm just like that person is a bad person <laughs> and when i see this person with dread i'm just like oh that person a bad person but then i know i love people with dread so what am i doing to myself so i've got to understand that i shouldn't judge people by appearance their appearance i know yes they say first first impression speaks loud and all of that but i feel like me i'm the kind of person that i try to know somebody before concluding even if you tell me this person is a bad person uh talks a lot uh insults a lot i always like to let me know this person. Is it true? Even if this person is bad, is it bad and a good size every person? Even if this person is bad, it should be like a good part of the person that I know that would be good for me. So that's one thing I've learned and that really helped me a lot not to judge people by their appearance. I mean, yeah. This one is so, so, so important. Yeah, I've learned that God gave people mouth to talk and they must talk. It's like God gave me to smile and I must smile. God gave people mouth to talk and they must talk. You can't do anything about it. Ah, if you do good, they will talk. If you do bad, they will talk. If you do funny, they will talk. Anything. I just know that people must talk. I remember when I got my face, my first um, hate comment. I think I said this in my assumption video, not sure, maybe. Yeah, I remember when I got it, I cried a lot. Like, I was like, why would this person be so mean? Why would this person say anything about me? Like, why? But then, I've come to understand, I think I, I got to understand this when I clocked, maybe before I clocked 23, I think I was still 22 then, got to understand that, man, people will talk. They will talk because they have mouths, so they have no choice than to talk. Like some persons in the hospital that cannot even talk. So as long as their mouths are functioning, they must talk. And whether they talk good or bad, it's their opinion. I have my own opinion. I mean, so whatever they say, shouldn't I shouldn't make it um, like a say over my life. I mean, yeah, I shouldn't make it... Like mandatory in my life if it's negative i shouldn't make it part of me said because i know it's definitely coming from a dark side probably they're going through something negative and then they have to just lash on somebody or if it's coming from a good side good but i just i've just learned that people must talk no matter what so i've also learned that um i can learn from everyone and everything i shouldn't say oh that person is so uh probably so young i can't learn from what does this person know no <laughs> It's, I mean, we can learn from each other in life. That's why we are all living, right? I think Sufi sang something like, If not just me, something like that. Yeah, I think. So I've just learned that I can learn from everybody. I can learn from anybody. I can learn from anything. Even trees, I mean, they wave. I mean, so when, they do, when some things go on around me, I try to pick a thing or two from them because I know that it's all for the betterness of life, yeah? So that's one thing I've learned that I can learn from. Some, some of you will not, will not um, agree with me on this one, but then it's what I've learned, okay? Like I said, this is what I've learned in 23 years. So I've learned that opportunity doesn't come but once. I mean, they say opportunity comes but once, but for me, I choose, to, uh, I choose to learn or I choose to say this way that opportunity doesn't come but once come but once if, if i don't get that opportunity now i would definitely get it if i'm meant to get it yeah yes and that's how it has worked for my mind because that's the way i position my mind so that's the way it has always worked for me that this opportunity i didn't get now if i was meant to get it originally i would definitely get it sometime it may come again 
I don't believe that opportunity comes just once and then when it comes it's over no I do I choose not to believe it no matter what you say to me I choose and that's the way it has worked for me that opportunity doesn't come once it would definitely come over and over again if I was meant to get that thing this one scares me a bit but then it's life yeah <laughs> i mean am i the only one that gets scared when i'm climbing a new age not really scared but then i just start like reasoning like oh i'm getting old i don't want to be old <laughs> not old literally but then i've come to understand that we must grow we must change we must i mean change must come growth must come we must age in life yeah that's one thing i've come to understand that <laughs> so i've learned which goes in line with the other one is that life happens life my life must happen there's some things that we can't just we can't just say like we, we don't have a say over them like when somebody dies i don't think we have a say over that life just happens there's some things that just happens and you would be like why would this thing happen like why but then it's just life even i'm always like ah, about it <laughs> it's just so true my parents will definitely continue to see me as their little one i practiced this um with my siblings and i found out the reason why they will um, still see me as their little girl no matter how old i climb or how old i get to and all of that i mean i saw my last brother when he was brought from the hospital i carried him so even though he's grown now and in uni, sometimes when I look at him, I still like see him as that baby and still relate to him like that, but even though he doesn't like it. So I just feel like that's the way our parents see us. I mean, they gave birth to so, us. So they still somehow, somehow, as grown as I am, they, they will still see me as that little girl <laughs> of yesterday. Like, oh, there's some things I would do. My mom would be like, look at this one of yesterday with that kind of thing. So it's just like, like I said, life happens. So that's one thing I've come to realize that my, my parents will still, they will just continue to see me as their little one. Even though there's some things I do and they'll be surprised because they'll be like, you can do this, like you're grown up and all of that. I'll be like, yes, I am. I'm grown up. So yeah, that's it. So beautiful and it has really helped me and it is um, to make excuses for people I didn't know this before I entered uni. Yeah, I didn't know it because I, I, I wasn't like, I didn't see it being practiced around me. I saw everybody facing punishment and all of that for every act wrong action they do. But then entering uni and, you know, socializing with different persons, learning, like going to leadership schools and all of that, I got to know that we just have to make excuses for ourselves. Somebody may hurt me now, that doesn't mean that I don't get offended. I do get offended. But then, like I keep making excuses like okay yeah why did this person do this okay maybe because of this okay maybe because of that okay let's give the person one more chance and like I just find myself keeping giving like giving people chances like and then I try to talk to the person like why would you do that I didn't like what you did and all of that so I just got to learn that to live a stress-free life we just have to keep making excuses for people 20 and we have three more to go i've learned that friends leave people leave people must leave it's something that you can't fight in life that people must definitely leave <laughs> and sometimes you just feel like you have control over these things but then you don't just have control over it because people relocate people i don't know i just i'm just it, it, it was hard accepting this fact i mean trying to lose friends trying to lose things and all of that but just know that people leave they must i mean life must go on this person must get transferred this person must relocate this person must grow up this person different things so i've come to understand that people leave and you have nothing to do about it the other thing i've learned is i'm coming to the end of this video by the way so the other thing i've learned is that family is everything like it's just a breath of fresh air sometimes when i'm going through stuff and i just need to talk to my family i just need to hear my mom's voice on this issue i just need to hear my dad's voice on this issue my siblings voice yeah i know yeah people can have best friends i do have friends but then Sometimes I just want to hear family, like just family written all over this thing I'm going through. So family is just everything. Sometimes when you're going through things, friends betray you, people betray you. But I don't think family can ever betray anybody. If, if they are, please just let me know. I stand corrected. But then from what I've seen, I don't think that family can betray. My family can betray me. I don't think so. So I just feel like family is everything. It's just like a soft pillow to rest on. 
So another thing I've learned is that I can do anything I set my mind on. Yeah, whatever I set my mind on, like just like setting goals, I've come to realize that once I put my mind on this thing, I remember when I first started YouTube, I said I was going to start YouTube for uh, like uh, a long time. But when I started, it was not actually when I said I wanted to start. <laughs> but I had to put my mind on it like, oh, Chikel, you're starting this thing like you've always wanted to do it so you're starting now no more procrastination again i was also battling procrastination when i was saying i was gonna do youtube because i had passion for editing i had passion for being in front of the camera and just talking and all of that so i just come to understand and realize that um whatever i set my mind to i will achieve it i will definitely achieve it and i think this one is the last one that i'm gonna say now i think we're at number 23 let's not go further than that Another thing I've come to learn is that about myself now this time is that makeup is not always for me. If you know me, you know that every other day my face is just so bare. I'm only with my eyeliner, under eyeliner, and my lip color. You see this makeup on my face right now? I don't even know whether it's really visible because I tried to make it not visible. If you see this makeup, it was a fight before it appeared on my face. <laughs> Seriously speaking, I remember releasing a video one time and a friend of mine was asking me, why didn't you make up on the video, like in the comment section? And I was like, my face did not just want to have makeup. I don't know how this beauty guru is doing. Maybe I've not found the right uh, foundation or something, but it's just so hard. If you know any foundations that are going to be good, because I have um, an oily skin, so sometimes when I wear my foundation, I get to start feeling irritated after some time because my face starts start getting so oily and all of that. So if you have probably, if you know of any good foundation, you can please recommend for me. I'd like to try it out. I'd like to try that and come to say my, like what I've, like if it works for me or if it doesn't work for me. Maybe sometime if my face starts to accept makeup, I will maybe do videos, who knows? <laughs> yeah, we're here for the struggle, yeah? So, who knows? So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you so much for you who watched to the end. If you skipped to the to the end, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm just watching you, like, my eyes on you. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video, okay? Um, if you're not subscribed, like I said before, please, I beg you, do subscribe to this channel. It's an exciting channel, I bet you. Please do subscribe, okay? And also, if you're my returning subscriber, like I said before, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and do leave your suggestions for me in the comment section what are the topics you like me to talk about uh leave it for me in the comment section if you have anything you want me to talk about if you have challenges yeah by the way we're we are getting to 500 subscribers soon yeah so if you have any challenge for me to do to celebrate 500 subscribers please leave it for me in the comment section because i'm planning on doing this challenge but i don't know which one to i think a couple of ones but I'm, i've not decided yet so if you have any just leave it in the comment section for me okay do i talk too fast yeah i do <laughs> i'm used to it too so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye